Okay. It's unboxing day and I'm super excited to share this brand new collection with you all. Uh, you'll get a little sneak peek at it before I even have a chance to add it into the store. So we'll start at the top here. Um, we've got a couple Case XX Select in the tin. And what's really neat about this, um, we can open this one here. It's been opened before. It looks to be <clears throat> unused. But this one actually is still in the original packaging and we have a date of 1999 on it. So very cool. I would consider that a uh, new old stock. Next, some buck knives, which I always love. Uh, this is the 110. That's kind of a must have, I think, for anybody who's using a knife. <clears throat> I'm going to slide that out here. We've got the paperwork. We've got the sheath that's obviously never been used. And take a look. Okay, there it is. Looks great. 110 Buck USA. Slide that off to the side. Next, another case item. And here um, we also have the original seal, so I'm not gonna mess with this too much. Uh, slab side. Okay, awesome. And we have a set of these miniature Leathermans. Some of these will make it to the store. I think uh, one of them will go in my purse. Oof, I don't wanna damage these boxes, so just in case, be real careful opening and all the original paperwork, everything in there. Leatherman Micra, the little scissors and all the little accessories. One for me, one for each of my sisters, possibly dad. Okay, I will get some of those in the store, I promise. Um, what else? Just kind of a fun little treasure patch for my patch collection. Yes, I have a patch collection, I know, I should be embarrassed. Um, okay, and some vintage knives here. Um, this one, just kind of a cool pattern on it that I like. They seem to like photograph well if you're taking pictures of sets. It's made in China, but still a neat little vintage knife. And then these all appear to be the same. Open one of these off. Looks like they had been oiled some time ago. It's kind of dry there. USA made and very clean um, if they've been used at all. Good looking knife here. Move those on over. Bag of goodies. What's in here? Um, got the big shears, little baby shears, and Buck, all right, what we got? Nice steak handles. Walk back, and this is a 500 model, so. Okay, cool, and very clean looking, so. Again, I don't think it's been um, carried or sharpened, but technically used, right? Slide that back in there, make a little more space. Winchester. Okay, this one I'm not going to take out because you know these are fragile. We don't want to be taking these in and out of the box too much. But uh, fish knife, great pattern. <clears throat> Money clip. All right, caterpillar advertising piece. Knife, nail file, little scissors. Okay, cute. Taylor Cutlery. And this is like a little tiny baby canoe. Carefully take that out. Oh, that is just too cute. Perfect. Um, next here, we have a little collection of some vintage um, novelty knives, I guess is what I would call them. And we'll pop one open. How about you, Annie Oakley? Yeah, USA made. Great clip point there. All right, this is the variety pack for sure. So 
Here we have some vintage advertising pieces here, letter openers, um, GE brand, and a nice little leather sheath. All right, what to take out? Okay, more Caterpillar advertising in the original box. <laughs> Looks like we have some Victorinox, some advertising here. Um, probably gently used by the looks of things, but in pretty good condition. Well, these are just handy to have. Got another money clip. This one has been, uh, we'll say, well loved. Uh, if you can see, it does have some advertising on it, General Electric, but little scratched up. Oh, cool. Okay, Zippo lighter. And, oh yeah, perfect addition for any case collector. And that does not appear to be used. Let's see. No dates on here, but I think that one's been around a while. More Caterpillar advertising. This is a three blade, I think Stockman. Original paperwork, Cutmaster. A few more items here. We'll grab out. Okay, so this is the Forest Master, the Boy Scout knife, I believe. And this is always a popular one. It seems like everybody uh, has some memory with this knife from their youth, and uh, they're not real expensive, but I find they do tend to sell very quickly in the store when I get them in. Got a couple from Benchmade in their older boxes. Oh my, they're fragile, right? So to be so careful opening these. Let's see who's in here. Oh, yeah, okay. So here we have the uh, pearl handle, which is just great. I can't remember what year these are, the Mel Perdue design. Really lightweight. One more. The Osborne Axis 770. A little more uh, classic type bench made, what you're used to seeing. And this is a 198 of 1000. It's a pre-production, so that would be a limited release. And last but not least, kind of a surprise uh, with this collection. And I know many of you who are collectors, uh, you know, end up with a wide variety of different things. But this is a Microtech. Uh, this is the Ultratech Hellhound Contoured Bronze Standard. 119-13 and this came out some years ago um, just trying to be really careful with everything here okay let's take a peek we've got the window breaker kind of an interesting really nice finish on this and I'm always cautious about deploying these too many times because I just don't want to get any scratches in here, but we'll do it just once here. Take a look. Okay, that is a very interesting and unique blade shape. Sharp on both sides. Cool. All right, well, that is what you can expect to see coming up here. Thank you guys for joining me and we'll see you next time.